Hey, what's up, Juba people? Welcome to this lesson. We're going to be learning this awesome song from Big Red Machine with Taylor Swift in it, Renegade. Let me know in the comments if you are a Taylor Swift fan or a Bonnie Vera fan or a Big Red Machine fan. Why are you here and how did you learn about this song? Okay, so um, I'm going to be doing the lesson a little bit different today. I'm going to... I haven't tried to play the song yet. I listened to the song this morning when it came out. And then I was like, hey, this would be a cool song to teach because I've got a lot of Taylor Swift fans and uh, I think Bon Iver, well, I'm a big Bon Iver fan. So anyway, so I'm going to listen to the song and figure it out and then you can see my process or you can skip ahead with the timestamps. You can skip ahead to the part where um, I start teaching the song. So after I figured it out. So um, let's get into it. I'm not going to put the song on so I'm only going to be I'm the only one who's going to be able to hear it but you guys can hear and see me figure it out okay so, so I'm just going to start it Okay, so the first part is And then it starts an F, so I'm just going to write that down. Uh, let's listen to it again. So what I do if I figure out the chords like this is I put the playback speed to like 1.5 and that just means I don't have to spend so much time on the song. So let's see. So chorus is A minor. G A minor C F G. And and I'm going to get into the diddly the fills as well. I'm going to get into that. So don't worry about that. So the chorus is just the same, A minor, C, F, G. Yeah. Tag is F, C, C, D minor, G. Bridge is the same as the chorus. 
So that little one line bridge is A minor C F G. Wow, what a good song. Yo, what a good song. Like, uh, really. Okay, so the core, the intro, let me just get the intro or the first verse. Okay, so as far as I can tell, uh, the structure is like this. Okay. Hmm. So tag bridge. Okay. Outro is gonna be. Outro is gonna be A minor. Same as. Oh my good. This song has three thirty four thousand likes and it's got thirty thousand three hundred views. So that means it's got more likes than views. So before it was when it was premiering people were liking the videos. That's that's crazy. This video is gonna be huge, I think. Like just in this time it's gotten sixteen thousand views. Just in this time that I've been giving so I'm refreshing at sixteen thousand. That's crazy. Okay, um, so I'm just writing my notes. So the verses. Okay, so there's, okay, I think we'll start with the official tutorial now. Okay, so, okay, so let's just see then. How can I? Um, okay, so let's just get the iPad out the way. And then we'll, oh, it's not the iPad. Okay, so you can see here, that, those, are the, those are the chord sequences, okay? Well, let, let's do it like this. Let's teach the song like this. Um, we're not going to do any iPad or any fancy tricks. We're just going to teach it to the camera. I think that will be the best way. Uh, okay, I just need to figure out first the diddly ling, those things. Played with a capo. I think it's an 
right there. These guys are good. Yakolo? Uh, good, is this insurance or something like that? Yeah, I asked you, is this insurance or something like that? Oh, I'm not interested in anything you have to offer. Thanks, eh? Please take me off the list. Please take me off the list, okay? Thanks, bye. Not at all. Not not at not at all. I'm really not interested. I've got everything I need now. Thanks, eh? Bye. Just these guys are irritating. I'm just gonna put off my phone. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, okay. So there was a, there was a rough year at one minute twenty one seconds around there. Okay, I'm just going to slow down this thing and listen to it again. Oh, I just 
didn't get that. Okay, so on the D. Riff happens on the first chord.
two guitars parts that we are going to learn. The first one is ultimate guitar then we can show the chords and then um So I'm just quickly going to download the lyrics so I just can... No, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so I figured out the chords in, without a capo. So I'm just going to rewrite the chords quickly with the capo. So it's going to be... Tag is going to be C, G, A minor, uh, D. It's going to be E minor, G, C, D. Okay, so, okay, I'm going to give the tutorial now. Okay, let me just make sure I know how to play it before I give the tutorial. So...
Okay. So, I think we're ready to give the tutorial. What do you guys think? I think so. Okay. Let's do this. We've already been doing like 27 minutes of this. Crazy, 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 crazy. Okay. So, uh, let's do this. I'm just going to give a loud clap so that we can. Bah! Okay. One, two, three, four. So we're going to learn the song with the strumming and with the little riffs that he does. I'll do that one now. This is the way that the, the second guitar does. Okay, so we'll do the chord progression in a second, but the strumming is going to be down, down, up, up, down, up. Capo on the fifth fret, and we're playing with a G chord. So G, C, add nine. You can take this finger off if you want, and take the pinky off. Remember to move the top string with a C, and then A minor and D. D has four is the D where you put the pinky below the ring finger, which uh, he or she uses. I don't know who's playing guitar, but I think it's Aaron Desner. Or Bonnie Bear, I don't know. Anyway, such a cool song. Uh, okay, let's just focus here. What are we doing first? The strumming. Okay, so let's just do it on the G. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down, The first down, I'm actually just playing the bass strings. You could play all the strings. But if you can just hit the bass string, it sounds really cool. So down. Down up bass, down up, up, down up, up, down up, C, a down up, down. How you play it, and then the, the chorus part. There's something different that happens in the first verse. I'll go over that now in a second. But uh, the chorus that's the gist of it the intro and the verse, and blah blah blah. And then the chorus is E minor, G, C, D. So the chorus goes. An alternative strumming that you can do, okay, is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Just like the old folk strumming, but I like the one that I showed in the beginning. So the chorus, E minor, one, two, three, four. And then G. And then C. Those riffs, so cool! 
These guys, man, they're so good. So cool how they put those riffs in. It's so cool. Okay, so that's it for the song. The tag part after the first chorus is C. G. A minor. And then D. Let's do that again. C. is exactly the same as the chorus. The bridge is actually just one line, E minor, G, C, D. Okay, so that's important. And then it goes to back to the chorus. That's basically it. Okay, let's go through the riffs. Okay, so basically if you're playing, oh, I just dropped my pick. Let's, let's get the pick. Uh, okay, so the first riff actually Okay, let me just explain the funny thing that happens in the first verse. In the first verse, they abandon the normal progression of G, C, A minor, D, and they go to C, G, and then C, D. So in the first verse, they only go G, C, A minor, D, Then they go C G C D, just like as a to break the repetitiveness of the song. It's still kind of the same structure. It's just kind of um, changed it up a bit. Uh, if you want to see my notes, you can screenshot that if that makes any sense to you. If not, then just follow along with the video. Okay, where are we now? The riffs. Okay, so the riffs are really, really cool to play. The first riff actually is, is very different, but I'm just going to show you the, the standard riff that they play most of the time. So they do this hammer on going 0, 2, 4 on the fourth string. And then 0, 2 on the third string. So. second string da, 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 da. and the place where they put it is on the second beat of the bar so if you're playing the G you're gonna go one two three four one two uh, one wait 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 so one two yeah one two three four one I'm trying to play the chords and the, and the little riff together, but that's I don't think that's how they recorded it, or that's I think it's two guitars. However, I don't think there's a strumming guitar in the song. I think it's just like other organs and things. But anyway, uh, the riff comes in on the two. So if you're counting one, two, three, four, then it's one. So the whole riff is. And then very softly they pull off and then go two zero on the third string. So that riff they do on the G chord, on the C they don't do it, the second chord of the bar. So they do it on every other chord, the first chord and the third chord. And on the D they don't do the riff except once after the first chorus they do this riff. And it starts on the three, the third beat. One, two. on the third string as you're holding a D and you go ba, da, da. So that's the second string so this is for advanced players this is not or intermediate advanced players and it starts on the third beat so if you're playing the whole thing with the riffs it's going to be um, oh on the chorus as well they do the riff also on the first chord and the third chord so it goes See what I mean. 
So I haven't practiced the song that much, but that's how you play it. I hope this helps you. If this video helped you, please let me know in the comments. Put a like, smash like, um, subscribe. If you want to, I, I do a lot of random stuff on my guitar channel. So I do Greta from Fleet tutorials. I do Need to Breathe tutorials. I do uh, Taylor Swift. I do, uh, I'm starting to get into Bonnie Bird to do tutorials. I've listened to him for a long time and I will be doing all the big red machine tutorials because I think this band's gonna blow up. It's amazing. It's really amazing. Um, and let's just see in the duration of this tutorial, this video has gotten 70,000 views. Okay, that's crazy, 70,000 views. That is, it's nuts. I mean, I don't know, the 62 people who disliked this, I don't know why, it's so weird. Probably because of the music video, because it's so funky. Anyway, um, that's it, I hope you learned the song and you enjoyed it. Cheers, have a nice day. Peace out.